honest part about proposal shoots are probably being inconspicuous at the start. <laughs> Especially if you don't have much room to kind of stand. This one was particularly interesting because the best place to be hidden were behind the pillars. Shooting that way would basically blow out the background. The lighting situation was really not good shooting it from the pillars out. And I had to stand in the middle of the stairs. I had one uh, video camera stationed there. I looked so suspicious. <laughs> in that area and uh, after we capture the initial proposal once the pressure is off then we can take closer shots like the rings the details and of course the friends interacting with each other that everybody has planned it so after the proposal we went around and we did kind of like a just a couple shoot when i do a couple shoot um i kind of need to get a vibe of what images they both like. After looking at the portfolio, they're like, oh yeah, we like these images are good. You kind of know that, oh yeah, this person, this is the style there is. This is the kind of shots that he's capable of doing. And then after that, it's more of like, what kind of poses do I like looking at myself in? You kind of have to get a feel of what your clients want out of the whole session. So I kind of had to take photos, certain images and certain scenarios, see what they are comfortable with. I had to ask them a bit of questions as to what kind of images they like. This is actually one of my favorite shoots. I really, really like the images that came out, uh, particularly the one at this bridge. It was just the perfect scenario. The lighting was just peering through the bridge and we had a bit of like a flare in between it and the mood was just, just something I really enjoyed and they seemed to like it as well. Yeah.